All right, how's everybody doing? So today I'm going to work on airbrushing this military truck I got from RC Voodoo. And to start off with that, I have uh, this Tamiya XF64 and XF1. Normally when I get these, uh, they'll be just a little bit, uh, they'll probably set around this level. I just take the X20 thinner and fill it up to right where the glass starts to bevel in and shake it up and that's usually pretty pre-mixed pretty good for these Tamiya paints. Well, we've got the airbrush here. Now I'm running my pressure around 30 pounds. And also if you don't want to watch this part and skip forward to the run video, that's fine as well. I'm going to uh, take it out in the woods when we're done. So if you're not interested in the painting, just go ahead and skip forward and check out the run video. Alright, so the first thing I usually do here is I'm going to start off with the black this time. Fill the airbrush up. And I usually keep a thing of water around to flush my little sucker with. Right, I've already got it pressured up, so it should be ready to go. Uh, what I want to do is just uh, give a little test to make sure my pressure is about where I want it. Yeah, it looks about close enough. So, all right, uh, let me stop this and get started with the actual airbrushing part. So I've masked the windows off and just filled the interior full of paper towels so I don't get too much overspray on the windows. I'm going to start off with the black here. And I'm just going to do a small section and show you what, what I'm doing there. And then uh, we'll skip video forward to the brown after that. Let's see. Let's start right in here. In a second, I'm going to turn my pressure up a little more. Alright, I'm back. Turned it up a little bit. I'm not making any specific camo pattern here. Alright, so I finished up the black and this is this is how it came out. And then also inside the bed. Uh, I went ahead and added the panel lines on the inside to match up with the outside. It's got a little extra shading effect and a little extra shading around the exhaust area. I've been using this to clean out my airbrushes for a while. This is the best thing I've ever found. I just literally spray them in after one paint. And look how clean it gets. Spray it through it, then I can switch right to the next co uh, color after a little bit of uh, drying it out. So, 
I'm going to go ahead and fill up with the brown, do a little bit of the brown, and then uh, see what we come up with. All right, I'm back. I got the brown loaded up. Start doing a little bit of that. Uh, if you hear any outside noises, the uh, the neighbor kids are outside playing. I, I know it's strange. I have neighbor kids that actually go outside and play instead of doing video games. And I'm just making up the patterns as I go. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this, and then I'll get back with you. All right, so there it is. Uh, this is what I ended up coming up with by the end. All right, so I said I wasn't going for any specific cat, uh, camo pattern. I was just grabbing black and brown and, and going to town with it. So uh, that's what we come up with. Next thing's a trail ride, so let's see how it looks on the trails, guys. This is Brent from Adventure Time RC. I'd just like to say thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, uh, like, share, and subscribe. All right, guys, you have a great day. Bye.